often you will need to define multiple states for your robot, which you could think of as behavior states. For example, if we had our ultrasonic sensor looking out in this direction, a simple object detector could be based on two states. So say this is 20 centimeters away. State A is if it detects anything, anything here. And state B is if it detects an object out here or no object at all. And in these states, you could do anything. State A could be playing tone A or turning on the motors or turning on a light or running a whole other program. And, and equivalently, state B could be anything. However, what happens if we need to introduce another state. Now before I do this, remember to solve this object detector program it, we could just use a single switch statement, right? This switch statement is controlled by the ultrasonic sensor and it would say, oh is it less than 20? Then go to do A and if it's greater than 20 then go to do B. So what happens if there's state C which is let's say anything which is greater than 40 centimeters away. So we have this intermediary region V here. We can't solve this with a single switch statement. So what we can do and what's important to realize is you can nest switch statements multiple times for, and it would look like this. And it's simply a cascading decision. So B and C are here. And let's think about how this might work. Um, our program begins here. And first it will ask the question, mm, is the object less than 20 centimeters away? And if it is, it's going to do A. So A is this region. And if not, we go ask another question. And think of it as a divide and conquer approach. The second switch statement is just looking at this region now. Because we've already taken care of state A. And now this switch statement, the solution would be to ask, is the object greater than 40 centimeters away, which would take care of C. And if it's true, we'll go jump to state C. And if it's not true, we'll be left over in state B. Now, if we had another state D, um, we, can mul we can nest multiple switch statements, as many as you need. Now, to nest switch statements in the Mindstorms environment, it's very easy. It's just dragging and dropping. So, for example, let's say I had this set up for the ultrasonic sensor here. Right now we have two states. Um, I can drag another switch statement here. And now we have three states. As you can see here, I'll, I'll put a sound block here just so it expands a little bit. So here's A, B, and C. And if we needed to define four states, we could similarly drag another switch statement here. So now there is four different states our program could could um, execute in. So it's as simple as that. The first step though is to really you know draw out how your switch statements will work and make sure you can just walk through it and then you can just arrange your switch statements here and make sure your comparison settings are correct. And that is how you nest switch statements.